हेलो दिस इज सौरभ गुप्ता वन सेकेंड इन सर्किट डाइजेस्ट दिस इज माई सेकेंड प्रोजेक्ट बिल्डिंग आई एस एम पी एस दिस इज अ फाइव वोल्ट टू एम पी आर एस एम पी एस दैट इज टेन वाट हियर इज द टेस्टिंग सेटअप माई टेस्टिंग सेटअप वेल सो हियर इज द फास्ट मल्टीमीटर हुई इज कनेक्टेड एक्रॉस द आउटपुट ऑफ द एस एम पी एस इट इज शोइंग डी सी वोल्टेज ऑफ द पावर सप्लाई फाइव वोल्ट टू एम here is another multimeter which is connected across the vdiac so it will provide me the detailed information about how much ac voltage is getting into the smps here is my oscilloscope that is got damaged i have connected my laptop so it will show the output from the oscilloscope here is the load the load is connected with my bench power supply that is powered using a 9.5 volt and it is getting the input from the smps so let's start the smps and see what what is happening uh, let's increase the ac voltage okay i have connected the ac voltage across the input is almost 85 volt ac Uh, the output is showing 4.96 volt which is quite good because it is 5 volt uh, 2 ampere of smps the load is zero let's increase the load this is the full load 2 ampere of load the output voltage is quite low 4.37 volt this is because of this thin wire across the output of my smps it is not suitable for 2 ampere uh, so i have connected the multimeter just before of this relimate connector to get the perfect voltage smps output uh, it is 4.95 volt it is rock solid across full load so let's see the ripple the ripple is quite high it is showing almost less than 200 millivolt peak to peak uh, yeah right 10 100 millivolt uh, uh, per per division in 500 microsecond so it is less than 200 millivolt peak to peak at full load this is quite high for a power supply in this rating i will state the reason why the output ripple is quite high for this design and let's increase the input voltage to our standard line voltage which is 230 volt ac yeah it is to 230 volt ac the output is 4.95 volt again it's uh, static it's solid uh, it was not fluctuating it is not fluctuating yeah Uh, so uh, here is 2 ampere 4.46 volt standard load and the ripple is increased due to the increase of the input voltage ac it is almost 200 millivolt peak to peak now so what is the reason behind the high output ripple across the output this is because of two factor one is the pcb poor pcb designing because it is not a pcb proper pcb it is a vero board vero board is not suitable for smps designing just because of the prop improper ground plane it will induce noises it will induce uh, ripple across the output for ground bounce issue and the second thing is this one the transformer this is a handmade transformer i have made this using uh, normal duct tape and all scissor everything okay uh, this is the transformer i have used my previous tutorial previous article uh, it is completely machine made varnished but this is not even the output is not accurate because it is handmade the detail information about how this this is built is available on the website another thing to be considered that is the power driver and the output skotki diode these two are two will get uh, very high when the output output is almost 2 ampere so it these two needs heat dissipation 
across the PCB plane but since it is not a PCB the PCB plane is improper if we just see the bottom I have made a small PCB heat sink using normal solders and all the ground this is the ground plane but it is not proper for ISMPS and for the Scott key diode the heat sink is not proper PCB heat sink is not proper so this is the 5 volt 2 ampere of SMPS designing you will get every information on the circuit digest website on the article so have a nice day thank you thanks a lot